when Ferguson happened, a lot of us were like outraged and we were like, oh, of course our white brothers and sisters in Christ are going to also be outraged with us. And all of the folks that we look to, all of the theologians we look to, all of the people whose books and commentaries right. and systematic theologies we yeah. have, everybody is going to come out and they're going to be like, of course this is wrong. And once right. we realized they came out and said the opposite, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were shocked. Like a lot of black Christians were like, whoa, hold on. Like when stuff like this happened to people like us, this is what you guys thought about. But then we started saying, no, yeah. black lives do matter. This is wrong what happened to Trayvon. This is wrong what happened to Mike Brown. Clearly there are racial components here. And they started saying, you guys are making this all about race. And they didn't even mention critical race theory yet because evangelicals didn't know what the heck critical race theory was. And in the beginning, they right. just started calling us like social justice warriors and calling us neo-Marxists. We were just being called liberals and you guys sound like Democrats and all of that stuff. And then that's when we really started saying, hold on, hold up. this seems more political than it is about truth. Is this like a conservative, like Republican political thing? Like then we're getting confused. So then comes along the articles and the talks about critical theory. They weren't even talking about critical race theory in the beginning. Then the evangelicals started saying, started getting wind of like, I, I would say like some of Neil Shinvey's articles, his talk. And then they started using the terminology. Oh, this is why all of our, these black Christians are talking about this race stuff is because of critical right. theory, yeah. right? So then they started kind of parroting what he was saying. Then he started talking about critical race theory and they kind of moved into critical race theory. And then the narrative became, you guys did not really care anything about this. But then when Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown happened, all of a sudden it was like the narrative was like we started reading Crenshaw, mm. Matt Suda, <laughs> uh, 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 Delegato, yes. Stefanchik, Horikheimer, Marcuse, sure, sure. Uh, uh, Antonio Gramsci. And then yeah. we became bewitched by critical theory. And then we became bewitched by critical race theory. And that is the simple, clear cut, uh, easily neat button together up issue of what the problem yeah. is right now. And then we as black people were saying, what in the world? What in the hell is critical race theory? We don't even know what you guys are talking about. So what what is this? So then we started studying critical race theory because we were being accused of critical race theory. Right, right. So let me see. Why do they keep calling me a critical race theorist? We are getting a lot of our understandings of this, not only from our own experience, but the traditional civil rights movement. Right. And prior to that, like King, Douglas, Baldwin, uh, sure. Morrison, uh, Du Bois. So now right. the narrative gets painted that this is just simply critical race theory. And we know people and even certain leaders that right. we know that are like, oh, that's what's happening to the black members of my church. They're being bewitched by critical race theory, yeah. right? Yeah. And the black members of their yeah. church are even still like, we don't, still don't know, know what, what this is. is.